What's going on YouTube? It's your boy X with X Factor Fitness coming at you tonight with a 360 wave video. I'm gonna put you guys up on game on what I do every single night to keep these waves locked, to making progress daily, weekly, monthly, and it starts right here. This is your night method. This is something that you need to be doing at nighttime in order to keep your hair moisturized and to keep those curls. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys my whole moisturized method. I usually don't talk over these videos, but I'm gonna do it tonight just to show you guys and explain to you guys exactly what I'm doing. First and foremost, let's unrag. Now it's just ragged up, just dub double compressed. That's all. Let me show you guys what we're working with. Now usually before I get started with anything, I always check the progress out just to see where I'm at. temples before I start anything. something notice these notice that side right there so that used to be my weak side which it still is but if you refer back to my old 360 wave videos you would notice that there's some new waves in there I've been brushing man I've been getting it in but those waves weren't there got some ripples at the top as well but the side is coming together definitely coming together all you need is the brush man I'm applying these brush just keep brushing I don't really believe in dry brushing. That's not really something I do all the time. But you know, throughout the months, throughout the weeks, throughout the days, my hair has been getting real, real silky. It's getting nice, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. My hair is staying, it's staying wet, it's staying moist, you know? It's staying moisturized. I'm keeping it locked. And basically, my wife whipped up this nice little concoction of three main cooking oils, which I will explain in, explain in another video, but it's coconut oil, castor oil, and olive oil, cooking oils. Mix them up, she heats it up, she does whatever she does, but whatever she does, man, it works. So uh, I'll probably give that to you guys later on in a different video, but she definitely is helping, is helping my wave come in, so. Anyway, so yeah, I always check out my waves just to see what I'm doing. I'm working on my crown area as well. Working on that crown, trying to fix it, trying to get it better, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, so like I said, I don't dry brush. What I do is I use Curl Keeper. So this is Curl Keeper uh, Texture My Way, I guess that's what it's called. I just found this at one of the hair stores. Uh, it, was at, it was for a good price. It's moisturizing hair lotion. Um, it's, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's a curl keeper. It keeps my curls. It keeps my hair looking silky. Here we go. Silky curls. So, yeah. Basically, this is what I use, man. Most my, most rest my hair. And uh, it has my hair looking all right. So, anyways. Always apply some. I always get a good amount. I really just 
in here. I'm using the Wave Enforcer 510 and it has a medium to hard type of side. This is the medium hard side and this is the medium soft side. So it's, it's, a very, it's a very, very new brush. Just picked it up a couple days ago. That's why I use the medium to hard and the medium to soft because it's not quite all the way soft yet, but it's softer than this side and this is actually like a hard brush. So either way, I brush for about 10 minutes with this side, then I switch it up and hit it with the soft. So I pretty much just go in. Pretty much just go in, get a brush session in. So it's pretty much a 15 to 20 minute brush session. minutes with the hard medium side and I'm gonna do 10 minutes with the soft medium size and I'm gonna come back with you guys cuz that's not it okay now that I'm done with the brush session after the moisturizer now I'm gonna throw on that 360 style pomade now this is definitely a go-to when you're woofing because you want to lay the hair down now I know a lot of people aren't with the whole pomade thing but I'm definitely with it man long as you are washing your hair when needed as long as you're not applying too much of this stuff, it can't do your hair no, no wrong. You really just want to use this to lay your hair down. I mean, keep it fresh. It gives it the shine. I mean, come on, why don't you use it? That's what you should ask yourself. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. So I grab, I grab a good enough amount. I'm about two weeks in. Two weeks in, I'm a wolf, you know? And as you see, not too bad, not too high. Because this is my second wolf, I think my hair is more trained, of course, than it was uh, during the first wolf. So my hair definitely looks better. My hair looks better and it is trained better. Trained more. So that's pretty much what you want to do, man. You want to you want to train your hair. You wash your hands off. And then the same thing, medium, then soft.
But anyways, I'm gonna go away in on this brush session and I'm gonna check back with you guys after I hit it with the medium and the saw. So as you notice, I'm working on it. So I still got that two crown thing kind of sort of looking thing going on. Can't call it people, but I'm fixing it. I'm trying to fix it. And I mean, it takes time. Nothing comes easy. You just gotta do what you gotta do. I need more hair to grow right there, that's all. So I'm gonna be woofing for a while, so that's fine. But maybe yeah, we're gonna fix it. But anyways, so that's that. One last and final part of this routine is the plastic bag method. Of course, we all know about the plastic bag method. So with this plastic, plastic bag technique, we're just pretty much gonna lay the hairs down. So I'm not sure if you guys can see the hairs because it's not a lot of hairs really sticking up, but you can see it. And so basically this bag is just gonna lay them down. So. Which pretty much, you go, you act like you're brushing. So you go with the flow of your hair, flow of your waves, just as if you were brushing. Just that. Now you don't have to do this for 10 minutes. I usually just do it for a few minutes just to lay it down. I don't do it for long at all. You know who's funny? 360 Jeezy. <laughs> he had me dying when he when he did the uh, plastic pad method. Oh man, I think it's hilarious. But yeah, this is a good way to check out your waves too, man. As you see, my waves have came a long way. I want you guys to really check out the first 360 wave video that I made. My waves suck. I actually got some pictures. I might even throw up some pictures. Uh, before I had waves, when I first, first, very first started this whole thing off. So there you go. Laid the hairs down. Not bad. So check it out. Hair's really standing up. Check out the back. You know, I will admit this does get your waves looking nice, man. You guys might wanna wanna try it out. Don't worry about that two crowd thing going on. We gotta work on it. That's all. We just gotta work on it. Nothing is easy. Nothing worth having comes easy. I'll tell you that now. And there you have it, man. There is the night method. Moisturize method. I just moisturize and lay my hair down, hair down with the pomade. Got it all nice. Uh, nice and shiny. And you know, tomorrow morning, I probably won't even have to put in any oil. I usually put in, I usually put in some oil in the morning if I need to get a little extra shine on, but my hair pretty much stays nice and moisturized, so I don't always apply the oil, but tomorrow I might. But you know what? With this method, you will probably not have to. So hopefully tomorrow morning we'll wake up nice, shiny, and moisturized, and we won't have to apply the oil. So this is pretty much the method. If you guys want to keep your hair shiny throughout the night, you want to keep your hair silky, you want to keep your waves laid down, you want to keep your hair nice, this is the method. And then finally, we're gonna rag up. So, I usually, since I'm woofing, I do a triple compression. So I pretty much put the do-rag on first. Stocking cap on second. And it's just a regular old stocking cap from Walmart, about $2. And this do-rag, I'm not sure where it came from, but I think it's your standard do-rag. And there you 
you have it. Do rag. This is the double compression. And then I found this at Walmart as well. So it's just another stocking cap, and it's made for a tighter fit. So it's like a spandex type of thing. I'm not sure, but I just simply just throw that on as well. So it actually like a like a damn swim cap. <laughs> But it's all good man i'm all i'm all tight man i'm all compressioned up three compression type of thing but anyways man that was the moisturized night method moisturizer how to get your wave silky how to lay your waves down how to control your wolf this was everything man this is what you do pretty much every single night especially when you're wolfing to keep your hair looking nice and fresh for the morning and that's all it takes, man. So I hope you guys liked the video, man. If you did, go ahead and click that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. I got more videos coming for you soon, sooner than later. I also got a fitness side of this channel. So subscribe to the channel. Check out those fitness videos if you want to get swole as well as get those waves. So hit me up in the comment section if you have any questions. And that's going to be it for this video, man. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, what's up YouTube? It is now the morning after. So let me show you how nice, shiny, and silky these waves are after that night method. are nice and laid down nice and shiny so I don't have to do anything this morning but the only thing I do in the mornings is brush the temple down now normally your waivers will fade this part but decide not to fade it this time around or I haven't faded it yet put it that way so I'm good to go with man there's nothing more for me to do this morning I can just I just unrag brush down my temples I get moving man Putting the moisturizer in, getting that nice brush session last night. Crown not looking too bad. So yeah, try that method out yourself, guys. That's my night method. And that's just what I do. So I can wake up in the morning with some nice, shiny, silky hair. And I don't have to do much. And also, using the saw brush, I also brush down the back.